this is we're going to start at 2,000 feet. Um, and we're going to do plus or minus 50 feet in here. We're not going to be completely exact. You've got your altimeter on your side. I've got mine. I'm at uh, 2,000 right now, that I'm saying, okay, um, and then when, when I say go, or mark, then I will go full throttle, climb out at 75 miles an hour until we're at 3,000, I'm not going to level off at 3,000, I'm going to just say mark, or stop, or some something to, to notate the 3,000, and then you just mark your time, we'll let, get all set, then we'll go up and do it again, okay, fair enough, nope. we'll keep the same course, we have a nice tailwind, so this should be real good for us. It's not going to be exact, but I just want to uh, get a feel for difference in performance. Okay, okay, so we're at 2010. Are you ready? Good. Mark. still climb at 550, about 500 feet a, a minute here, believe it or not. 2,800?
Um, nice day, beautiful day up here. Little cool. About 52 degrees, 55 degrees, right in that range. Uh, we did our tests to uh, check to see what the flight performance would be like climbing from one altitude to another. Dana, what did you think of that little uh, exercise? Pretty sweet, fun. Uh, flight performance was uh, very impressive. I knew that it wouldn't be as responsive uh, flight-wise uh, from one altitude to another, but uh, we still were able to climb out at 400 feet a minute, even from 9,000 to 10,000. So I'm very impressed with that. This will be the max altitude for the flight for the human spirit. There will be some times where we won't have uh, 9,000 feet of air between us and the ground, like we do today, where we'll only have about 2,000 feet. But uh, at least we know that the aircraft will handle it. This is one beautiful airplane, let me tell you. Very blessed.